Happy Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Today I am bringing you five upscale and classy DIYs using some of my thrift store stash. Welcome to my channel, Freckled Mom DIY. I'm Devin. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey. This is a collaboration dreaming of a white Christmas with a few of my friends, which I'll explain in a bit. But let's dive right into these holiday DIYs. These are some adorable little winter hat pom-pom garlands. I am showing you two different ways of styling it, but these are so cute and so easy to make. So here I have two different colored yarns. You could do this with just one color. It doesn't matter. These are some toilet paper holders. This, you could use this with um, wrapping paper, cardboard, or paper towels. And you just want to cut up these rings. So I cut up a whole bunch of them. I didn't use all of them, only because I got a little bit of a cramp. So here I am using a box and I'm just wrapping this with my yarn a bunch of times. A book with some pages that you can cut into would be easier. So once you have it wrapped, you just go through with your scissors and just cut it right down the middle and this gives you some string. So you see I have a nice little stack here and I am just going to cut it and get it ready. So what I'm doing is looping it inside of the cardboard and then pulling the little legs through, if that makes sense. You're gonna keep seeing it and then you just pull it tight and that's it. You're just gonna keep doing that over and over and over. And so let's just keep going. I'm gonna show you guys a couple more times. We are going to make a little loop like this, put it through the inside of the toilet paper holder, grab the loop, and then grab the little bottoms of our yarn and then pull it through the loop and tighten it and then push it over and keep doing that. So I am not a crocheter. I am not a seamstress of any sort. I'm sure this is easy for many of you, but with my neuropathy and my myoclonus, this was definitely a chore. So here is the next day, new nails, new lighting, and I definitely became a master at making these loops. I probably did about a million. I don't know how many I did, but you're just going to keep going. So now you can see what we're doing here. We are just pushing all that extra yarn through the middle. You see what I'm doing? I'm just going to pull it all up now and just kind of, you know, even out the edges. I do stick a little cotton ball right through the inside of the hat just to keep it shape. And then I just tie a little string here. And this is where we're going to be making the little pom poms. So if you make pom poms, this should be super easy for you. Um, this was my first time doing this, guys, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think this was so much fun. There's one I already did. So definitely put on a Christmas movie or, you know, a TV show or maybe some meditation music and just go to town making those loops and threading through the bottom of the yarn. And then here it is just the pom-poms I am cutting up. And again, this was super difficult because um, there was a lot of yarn. So definitely get some sharp scissors, guys. And again, I did pop in those little cotton balls at the bottom. I'm just going to do this to all of these so you can see this in super fast mode here and i think these are so adorable and i don't know it took me so long to make these but they are the sweetest things i just think they are so cute you can use these as a garland or as little decoration maybe to fill up your tiered tray so now i'm turning it into a garland and i just have a little bit of twine here and i love this twine and apparently so does miko because i had to fight him to get back my twine so here is my chewed twine and i am just sticking it into where i looped up the top of the pom-pom and i'm just pulling it through and that's how i'm adhering it to my garland I'm sure there are other ways you could do it, but this is how I did it and it works out because I can still move them if I wanted them to be spaced out, you know, further apart or if I want to pull them closer. So you can just see here I'm still doing that and I put the blue on the end and then I'm making knots just so they don't fall off and I'm going to use this as a garland. So I did have a little bit of the knots that I had made for my pom-pom, so I just put some silver balls there and I hot glued them just so to add a little 
you know, a little something something. But how cute are these? Oh my goodness. Like, I think they are just so darling and so adorable. And I just love this. You could use whatever yarn you have, but I had this yarn and I just think it is so sweet. Let me know what you think down in the comments. So I said this was all thrift flips, but we do have some Dollar Tree mixed in here. So this one is so easy. I just have a Dollar Tree frame and this bag I think I actually got from Target. So all I did was go through with my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint and I just gave it one coat. Nothing special guys. One coat just so you could still see that grain coming through. Then I traced out the Christmas tree with the size of the glass of course. And I wish I could have gotten that Merry Christmas. It just didn't fit that way. So I am not the steadiest with my hands. So instead of cutting with scissors, I'm just using my paper cutter. And that way I can have nice crisp lines and it will be even and I don't have to worry about anything. And I just think this is so sweet. You could do this with anything you have, a printout or a picture of something or maybe a calendar page. And I'm just putting it all back together and I am in love with this. Such an easy project. You could end it right here. I think it's super cute. But I wanted to add a little something something. You know me. So I got these at the Dollar Tree. It's a garland of painted pine cones. Super sweet. Not scented though. You guys know I love my scented pine cones. So I'm just cutting them up and I'm going to be hot gluing them to the back of the photo frame. And I just want a couple. I don't want to go too crazy with it. And so you can see I already have two there. And this third one I just took off of the wire and I'm hot gluing it right to the frame. And I love this. I think it is so sweet. And again, you could do whatever you want, but I think this... Christmas tree looks so cute with my white and my light blue that I'm doing for my dining room. So each room in my house is a little different, so this room is definitely one of my favorites. This is a collaboration, Dreaming of a White Christmas. I have some amazing friends who are amazing crafters, and we decided to bring you some white Christmas for you to enjoy while decorating your house today or when you're watching throughout the season. Make sure you head down in my description to check out the playlist with my friends. You will find Maria from Artsy Cupcake, Jackie from Blessed Beyond Measure, Corey from Come On Over with Corey, originally crafted by Corey, Lisa Marie from Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie, and Mary Beth from MB Gray Designs. Their channels as well as the playlist is down in my description. All right, guys, we are back to the thrift items. So I found this wreath at the thrift store. Obviously, you are seeing the final version, but let's see. That's what it used to look like. It was uh, very sparse. So I'm just taking everything off. You can see I got it for $2.99. These wreaths are humongous, so that is such a good deal. You have to hit up your local thrift stores and look for your wreaths. So here are some... Christmas ornaments and I am just gluing them together to make like a little bundle of them. I was having a little difficulty trying to hot glue them to the wreath so I figured this way would be a little easier. So I am hot gluing these to each other and you're gonna see I am doing a few different colors, a few different styles. I had gotten a huge pack of these ornaments at Target not last year, I believe the year before. So this one I did a little different. I did the ornament, two ornaments, and then I'm gonna do a little pine cone. This pine cone came with the ornaments. So I think they are super cute, and my dining room has a white tree in it. So I figured these light blue and silver ornaments would look very nice in there and go well with my dreaming of a white Christmas. And like I said, I'm hot gluing all these together to try and piece it together. Um, and you're going to see. So here I have some tulle or mesh from Dollar Tree. It is so pretty. I love this color. And I am going to do a couple things with this mesh. So I'm just cutting it up to go around my little bundles. And it's just so I can kind of, you know, cover up anything, you know, like the edge of the, of the little ornaments. You know, just so it doesn't look like 
little ornaments, but you guys know what it is. So anyways, that was just my idea. And I'm just kind of sticking the mesh in and hot gluing it where I feel like it needs a little security and then wrapping it through all of the balls. That way the whole thing's covered. But also it gives me a little extra substance when I'm trying to hot glue them down. Like I said, I tried to hot glue them onto the actual wreath first and it just didn't work. They just kept falling off and I was getting pretty frustrated for such a simple craft or so I thought. This craft actually took me quite a while. I thought it was going to be a very, very fast project and it, yeah, it definitely took a while. But once I figured out how to adhere it, it was much faster. So here is one of my ways. I cut off a little piece of foam and foam melts with hot glue, as you guys know. So I'm hot gluing this mesh to the foam and then I will be hot gluing the balls to this little mesh if that makes sense guys so then i am able to hot glue it to my actual wreath here so you're gonna have some funny views in a minute just because this wreath was so big so i'm trying to figure out which is the best way to get it in there and i ended up lifting it up and there you go this is how it is the funniest angle and you can see my little jenga block in the back i had to really build up a wall underneath the balls to get them to stick you can see um, a nice little mirror of myself working um, yeah this is this was a project guys it really was um, but I love how it came out so these are just some embellishments from different picks I have and I'm just filling up the empty space and I love this so much but of course this thing is humongous and it actually I couldn't shut my door I couldn't shut my screen door so now it is in my dining room on the wall behind the white christmas tree and i think it is just darling i think it is so so sweet Tell me one thing. this one might actually be my favorite one i actually gifted this to my husband's grandmother this thanksgiving this was a strainer i had bought at the thrift store i brought it out to the garage and i gave it two coats of my rust-oleum white spray paint i did the outside and the inside two coats and i think this is so adorable for a kitchen or a dining room and you can see here i have a bunch of different things i have some picks from hobby lobby that i got 50 percent off i have my pine cones over there from michael's and I have a Dollar Tree pick mixed in there. So I just have a bunch of different colors. I wanted it to be like a natural kind of look, if you know what I mean. Um, so I am just breaking everything up into little pieces so I can get it inside of here. I love how this came out. And I was surprised how everything really fit in there very well. So I'm starting out with the pine cones first because they're larger and I'm just hot gluing them right into my strainer. Of course, you are not going to want to use this strainer again for food um, because it has spray paint on it. It is just for decoration now, but it would have been a wonderful strainer because there was nothing wrong with it. So again, go to your thrift stores, guys. You never know what you're gonna find. And I definitely lucked out when I found this strainer because this is so beautiful. And I'm gonna go through with some picks I have. So this is just a little bit of pine, trying to get like the greenery in there. And this isn't exactly Christmas. She can keep this out all year, not all year, sorry guys. She can keep this out all winter. Um, and she, I think this will go well in her home. She has a very farmhouse kind of look and she has some good style. So I think she, I think she liked it. I hope she did. And I'm just going to keep going and I'm just hot gluing everything down. So here are some more pine cones that don't have any sparkles. These pine cones, I believe I also got at Michael's, but they're the ones without the sparkles. So they have the larger sizes and the smaller sizes. So definitely use your rewards and your coupons when you go to Michael's because I got some amazing deals this whole past season so far so i'm going to keep going adding in different little pieces here this is off of that pick from hobby lobby and i really i didn't hot glue everything uh, because it fit in there so well so i just kind of shoved it in there 
and some of the hot glue from the pine cones was still wet so that kind of helped too and then I have these berries here and I think these berries are super sweet um, they add that extra like pop of color because there's so much brown and green in there and then I have these little pomegranates I think that's what they're called pomegranates let me know down in the comments if that if I'm wrong or correct but I think they're pomegranates and I did hot glue those ones in because they're little balls and I didn't want them falling off so these came on a very large bundle so I just broke off a couple of them again this is really just to pop in some color and it does go well with Christmas because it has the colors you know the green and the browns and then my husband suggested I add a bow and I think that was a perfect perfect addition because this is so sweet I wish I showed you guys because I used my bow maker and I think that bow came out pretty adorable so this bow is um, fabric from Michaels and I just love how this came out I think it is so sweet and very festive for the holidays let me know if you still give hostess gifts when you travel to family and friends houses because that's what this was it was a hostess gift for my husband's grandmother now this was kind of a mess up but i wanted to show you guys anyways so this is a dollar tree sled it is all wood and i got this scorch pen from amazon so there's two different ends here. There is a, a little foam brush end, and then there is a marker end. And it's just like a paint pen where you have to kind of pump it up to get the, um, you know, the liquid down to the tip. So I am just going to go through, and you can't really see it on camera, but in person you can see where you're writing. So it's not super hard to see, so you can tell, you know, that you're not, if you're overlapping something. And I'm just going to write my last name, Frazado, and you're going to see what we're going to do, guys. It's a scorch pen, so we're going to have some flame soon. Or, actually, in our case, we're in um, upstairs, so we're going to be using the heat gun. But this is very similar to, um, like, wood burning, you know? So if you guys know uh, my friend Sandy from Lumber Mill, Sandy, she has her dragon's breath. I have never used a dragon's breath, but I can only assume it is the same as this. So now I'm just using my heat gun and I'm heating up where I used the marker. And that's it, guys. Like, that was so simple, so easy. Um, and But these didn't come out as well as I thought. So I had these left over from another project and I'm just laying them out. They're just my stencils from the Cricut, the Cameo. I use the Cameo. Many people use Cricut, but I use the Cameo. And I'm just laying them out and I am going to now use the brush side. So before I use the marker side, now I'm going to use the brush side. But it did bleed a little bit, so I'm not sure if I could use Mod Podge first and then this. I don't know if it would still work. So that's why I didn't do my little Mod Podge trick. So I did use my heat gun just a little bit and then I peeled it up and it looked pretty good. So I was, I was happy. But as you see, the heat gun kind of made it bleed a little bit so you can see that the wood burning is coming out but now it is definitely bleeding and it's too late at this point guys so it's either i paint over the entire thing or i just color in with this silver paint pen so i just colored it in for now i'm probably going to go through and just paint the whole thing but i wanted to show you guys the scorch pen in case you wanted to get it and try it out and also let you know about my friend Sandy who also does her dragon's breath which is very very awesome so if you live in Canada definitely reach out to her to get some of this because I need it now that I tried the scorch pen it would have been super cute if it didn't bleed but it's still something for us to try and put in our little craft tool belt I think it's still super adorable let me know what you think Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to head down in my description to check out the link to the playlist as well as the links to my friends' channels. I hope you are inspired to decorate for a white Christmas. If you enjoy craft videos, home decor, thrift flips, and more, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. 
You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom. I'd love to connect with you over there as well. I am also a leading designer, unofficially a master designer for Chalk Couture. So if you have any questions or want to work with me, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Don't forget about my open challenge room by room this Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with my co-host Wendy from White Sparrow Living. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you very soon. Keep crafting and have a great day. Mm -hmm.